Hey San, welcome to Social Network Analysis using Stata. This is the fourth tutorial, Plotting Networks. Don't forget, you need to install the w commands first. One of the first things you might want to do after loading your network is looking at it. And hey, those network graphs look cool. In Stata, it is now extremely easy to make beautiful and flexible network plots. Plotting a network is very simple. The relevant command is nwplot. It comes with a huge set of options to change all sorts of things. For example, the size, the color, or the symbol of network nodes. You can do many things with your network ties as well. In fact, there's hardly anything you cannot change with nwplot. And I really mean that. nwplot uses the Stata two-way engine to display networks. Ultimately, it is a combination of normal scatter and line plots. That also means whatever you can change in a Stata two-way plot, you can change in your network plot as well. Ooh, those of you who ever explored the Stata plotting options know what I'm talking about. In fact, the NW commands even come with additional schemes to make beautiful network plots. Very exciting. But let us start simple. Load the Florentine network data and type web nw use Florentine. Now, go ahead and plot the marriage network as we did before. Just type nwplot followed by the name of the network you want to display. Nice. By default, nwplot uses multidimensional scaling to position nodes. But there are many other layout functions as well. For example, you can arrange your nodes in a circle, on a grid, have predefined coordinates, or you can even write your own layout function. Check out Help NWplot for more about this. You might have noticed that there are some additional variables in your Stata dataset. There's one variable called wealth. Actually, this refers to each family's net wealth in thousands of lira in the year 1427. Another variable is called priorates. It refers to the number of seats on the civic council held by a family between 1282 and 1344. I love this data. This is so cool. Okay. Let us simplify the variable priorates a bit. Instead of the total number of seats, let us generate a variable that indicates if a family had any seats in the civil council at all. Generating such a variable is easy. Just type generate seat equals parenthesis priorates unequals zero. If you tabulate this new variable, you see there are exactly six family who never had any seats during this time. Okay, now let us display this additional data together with our network. This is the cool part. Mm, yes, let's make a plot so that the size of a network node represents the wealth of a family and the color of a node represents whether a family had a seat in the civic council or not. You change the size of nodes with the option size and the color with the option color. Both require a variable name in parentheses. Sounds easy. Well, let's try. Type nwplot flow marriage, comma, size, parentheses wealth, 
color parenthesis seat here we go very nice by default you get some legend keys but all of this can be changed as well okay i want to show you the network schemes a scheme is a set of predefined graph options for your data plots using schemes is a very simple and fast way to change the overall look and feel of your plots. Just type exactly the same command as before, but add the option scheme parenthesis s2 network. Okay. Ooh, this looks very different and cool. Let me show you one other thing. You can use one network to color the ties of another network. Let's type the following command. nwplot flow marriage, comma, edge color, parenthesis, flow business. Let's also add node labels and the S1 network scheme. Sweet. This shows us the marriage network between Florentine families, but it also shows us which one of these marriage ties was complemented by a business relationship. Excellent. On its help side, there are many more examples for what you can change. Go ahead and play around with us. Hey, Dor, 